Hi, I'm Cahill. Welcome to Full Stem Ahead Long Island. With so much open space around us, Long Islanders enjoy a great quality of life. We also have some of the best health care anywhere. Today, we talk to industry leaders about the many career opportunities beyond becoming a doctor or surgeon. Our first stop, the Spark Challenge. The Spark Challenge started five years ago. When we okay. started, we had 30 uh, sites and about 300 students. Mm -hmm. This year we had 900 students and we had 74 sites host our students. In the fall, we invite students to get a behind-the-scenes look where they come in for at least a half day and they learn about clinical and non-clinical careers. They've had experiences where they were on the Sky Health helicopter, they saw traumas, everything we have to offer because we literally have thousands of job mm -hmm. descriptions. The second half, we ask them to go back and create a poster based on one of the careers that they learned about and then give a two-minute presentation at our event today. We got placed with the Orzac Center for Rehabilitation and for our poster we wanted to focus on how nurses can come in contact with a variety of patients and how they have a different bond with each of them and especially in a rehabilitation center they are constantly motivating them every single day to continue with their treatment. These Glen Cove students visited Northwell Health Imaging to get some insight into radiology. So a lot of times when people think about going into the medical field, they think about doctors and being a doctor only. Um, what did you find out about being like a radiology tech that you thought was interesting? A lot of people don't think that radiologists are doctors, but they are doctors. They still have to go to medical school and they still have to learn about medicine. Why does a radiologist need so much training? Depending on what kinds of scans you're using, depending on MRI or CT, CAT, you do have to know about the body. You have to know the organs, you have to know like certain parts of the brain, knowing the technology and the medicine of it. We went to uh, the Northwell site for all telehealth communication services. The necessary medical personnel are not on site when needed in certain like emergency situations. They have been able to uh, structure it so that there are like these sort of like set up screens right. where doctors from an off site location are able to communicate with the medical staff on that on site location to help the patient that is there in that moment. There's this camera over the screen in which they could communicate with the person in the other location and it was just really cool being able to see all that. I've never heard of telehealth before I went to the telehealth services. I was surprised that they incorporated like much technology that most students and teenagers use today. I feel like I might want to go into that field someday. We went to the corporate office of uh, the CIO, Chief Information Officer. Even though it is um, a healthcare industry, right, right. we also discuss um, cybersecurity. So just everyday interactions between the patients and the doctors, innovations such as apps where you can um, schedule appointments, really anything where information is stored, all have to do with cybersecurity. I saw a presentation on telehealth. Is that an area where cybersecurity could help? Yeah, of course. You want to make sure anything that's said, um, which is private, of course, right. Um, and has to do with one's personal health, um, stays safe over this line. This is spectacular. If you look around the room and you see the enthusiasm, this is what this is all about. And exposing people to what goes on in healthcare yeah. that they would never otherwise have the opportunity to see. Northwell Health, we're the largest provider of healthcare in New York State. Uh, we have 69,000 employees. Wow, and are all those employees doctors and nurses? Uh, doctors, nurses, uh, technicians, administrators, finance people, real estate people, food service people, everything that you would ever want to be in, you can find inside healthcare. These students are really excited about a future in healthcare. Let's visit Good Samaritan Hospital for insight into the industry today. So Lori, we were just at the Spark Challenge and the level of energy and excitement from the students there learning about healthcare careers was awesome. How do we take that excitement and energy and put it to good use at a place like Catholic Health Services? Well, we have so many opportunities. Certainly our nurses and our physicians are a core of the services we provide. People wouldn't think about plumbers and HVAC mechanics. Um, our people who work in public and affairs and communications 
all those things are part of our village. Do you have any programs or events that uh, could help high school students, for example, learn about the different careers uh, in the healthcare industry? Well, we always encourage students to consider our volunteering program. Okay. So we, they have an opportunity in middle school and high school to really be immersed in the environment. Yes. And if they're interested in a particular area because they think their career will take them there, they can certainly do that. Different settings, different opportunities for different levels of credential and interest um, for those young students to really take their careers and grow it and stay here on Long Island. Well, it doesn't take a brain surgeon to see the many amazing opportunities on Long Island. If a career in healthcare is what your doctor ordered, visit listemhub.org and call us in the morning.